So I've been priming these in Wraithbone uh, to go with the earthy tone. So my first paint here is Basiliconum Grey and I'm going to go with this on the X shafts. That's kind of a dark wood. Yeah. No need to be super neat here because that's metal paint going on there. Here, try to avoid the skin. Where I'm also going to paint this is on the kind of leggings here inside. Next up. I'm going to use Gawk Runter Fur for all of the fur here. Next step here is to add snake bite leather to all of the st little straps. Wrappings, I guess is a better word. And wear more here. So, here you don't have to be careful because the boots are going to be in Black Legion. Right, so let's do the Black Legion now. It's basically just the boots. And here we really do try to avoid painting over the well, both the brown, but also the base, to be fair. Okay, so that's the boots painted in. Now I'm gonna move on to a slaughter red. And this is going to be used for a couple of different places. One of them is kind of a bit hazardous, and that will be that'll be inside of the and the other places. All of this shirt part here. Uh, there's also some blowing cloths that's supposed to be red, but I'm going to use a different shade there to kind of. Uh, shake things up. This will be lighter. Uh, I'm gonna go with a <clears throat> love affair for that one, so it's kind of a, a bit more uh, contrasty. So I'm just gonna return afterwards. All right, so here you can see the current shape of the model. Uh, so as you can see, I did some mistakes here. I, it's very hard to reach that red without kind of touching this hair, but that's fine. I'm gonna fix it up once it's dried. Uh, and I'm gonna move on to this kind of hide. Uh, sorry, not this part because that's gonna be red, but this hide coming down here and also on the back right here. And I'm gonna paint it in a very, uh, very light as a bit uh, wild beast. So, yes, let's just let's slap this on here. Slappy, slappy. It's not a big deal here if you hit the previously painted Gorgonta fur, it won't affect that basically anything, so. And let's now paint in that loincloth with Love Affair instant paint. It's, uh, as you can see, quite a bit lighter than the, the speed paint previously used to smoke red. So now time for the hair. I'm gonna use Frenzy Orange from Scale 75. So here's the Frenzy Orange over this angry girl's hair. So I'm now going to paint in all of the metal parts. And so the kind of fa faces here will be gold. That one, that one, and that one. And like the shin guards, the hip guards, I guess, and this shoulder guard here, and the axes as well will be Iron Warriors. Let's just get that done. Kind of 
things down here. We're starting with the Iron Warriors. Paint the gold. And that'll be... You. It'll be... You. And here. So that shouldn't be too complicated, right? Right, so I'm going to paint in the skin, finally. And I'm going to use a demon brown as my starting point. Purplish starting point. This is an instant paint, so it's quite contrasty. It's very easy to work with. Although it might be a bit on the too flowy side, I guess. So be careful. It's it flows more than a usual contrast paint. Alright, so now on to the last base paint here, or it's, I'm not using base paints, but anyway, I guess Iron Warriors is a base paint, and um, probably Retributor Army is a base paint as well, but everything else is a constant speed or re yeah, instant paint. So, uh, this is the, let's get in focus there, this is just a skeleton horde over all of the bones, so really nothing fancy. And this isn't very high risk, since it's such a light paint as well. Well, I lied a bit there. We actually have one more paint to do, and that is the Basilicon Grey on the base, but in a way I did not lie because we have already used Basilic Autumn Grey. I was just not aware that I was gonna use it again. So yeah, here's the base as well in Basilic Autumn Grey. Just don't overload on this one. Just paint in all the base. The Basilic Autumn Grey. Let's make sure not to spill anything onto that the skull there, right? If you spill anything onto the f boots, it's probably not a problem though. So, except the yeah, rim of the base, the model is now completed in terms of base colors locked in. I'm nowhere near done though. I'm actually going to keep going with the Basilicon and Grey. I'm just going to water it down slightly. And this will go over all of the metal colored metals like the X's and such. So we just thin it down slightly and go over the metals with this one. So that's the metal shaded. I am now going to shade all the dark red with the broken half night shade. As I want a yeah, kind of different vibe going on here. I'm now going to use Targor Raid Shade. Targor Raid Shade here on the loincloth. And the Targor Raid Shade will also go over, thin down though, over the hair. Just to pick up some shades there, make it slightly darker. Our next shade is Agrix Earth Shade, and this will go over the gold and the fur. And also the little bands painted in uh, snake bite leather. We're then going to take some Agrix Earth Shade and thin it down and go over all over these, these bony parts. And as a last shading. Deal. We're gonna take some null oil and just go over the horns with this one. And it might take a couple of coats here. Yeah. 
So this is the model now, while all the shades and the base paints are applied, so it's starting to look pretty good. Apply some highlights to him. So where do you want to start? I guess we'll start with... Hmm, I'm gonna leave the skin as a lost dealio, I think. Let's start with highlighting all that fur, I guess. So I have on my brush here a bit of bleached bone and I'm actually going to start on the light cloak parts here. Just use that same color to highlight some, some of the fur but not all of it so I just guess this will return later here, right? It's not that interesting to see. That is the fur and uh, the light kind of cowhide uh, shenanigans underneath it highlighted, right? I've also used that bleached bone to kind of relayer some of the skulls. Well, these skulls actually. So they should already be popping a bit more. And now I'm gonna I am gonna go about highlighting the grey and black I think. So I'm gonna start with the Skaven Blight Dinge on the boots. And then I'm gonna move into an Administratum Grey, but not straight into it, probably gonna mix it up with the Skaven Blight Dinge. And then I will use that Administratum Grey to go into the Basiliconum Grey areas on the pants. Uh, just for the sake of time efficiency. So let's start with that skin blood tinge. And then I'm moving into a kind of 50-50 administratum grey skin blood tinge. I'm painting a bit more highlighty with this one. And then let's continue with that administratum grey into the pants as well. Alright, so let's now highlight the dark red pots with wild rider red. And there won't be too much highlights in this but in there. Right, so that's done now. You can see some highlights here and here, as well as on the uh, leather and parts on the arm there. So, well, also, there's some spot I like of troll stay orange there, but that's not really very important. And then I'm gonna highlight the loin cloth, and this will be more in, uh, in the pink scale of things. I'm just going to do little stripes all along the sides here with the Bugman's glow. Now I'm going to highlight the hair with some yellow code using the edge of the brush. And don't overdo this, you don't want to end up with yellow hair. I'm going to highlight the silver, a bit of Stormhost Sealer here. I'm not gonna go overboard with this one. I don't want them to look super clean. I still want some popping. So I'm now using a. And this is a Kisslo flesh. So I'm gonna go from there to there. Starting with the bestial brown shade that it has now, right? And 
and this is the face now leaving all that lovely dark red brown in the shades uh, it looks I would argue a lot better in person than it does, than it does here on the camera with this haphazard <laughs> background but uh, I'll take some other shots later on uh, I just painted in the teeth and the uh, white dot in the eye now I'm gonna highlight all the bones uh, with some uh, Quarks white on some tip, very rare peaks, but that's not really important. So if you just want to skip that part, that's totally fine. Otherwise, the model is done, and I'm just gonna paint in the rim and be done with it because I've been going for so long now. <laughs> 